was like one of those little intro things. It was things. weird that you got your dick sucked by a man. No, dude, it was not that part. It was just... Oh, dude, I don't even want to get Is that part a joke or did that really happen? No. <laughs> I don't know. That was some joke you were trying to pull on me. Thinking about getting his dick sucked by a dude over there. Comment down below if anybody's curious. <laughs> Matt's available. <laughs> And on that note, how you guys doing? I'm Ryan Cruzy. This is Cruzy Originals. That dude's name is Matt. This is my road glide. This is the old performance road glide that we got from House of Harley that we've been building for a while. You guys have seen it. Uh, we've gotten pretty far on it, but it's been kind of on a pause too. I had neck surgery, I'm down, whatever the f you know. Uh, so I'm down until probably December. So that's a lot of time, like five months, something like that. So I'm gonna tear this thing completely down and kind of redo it. Uh, it's getting painted. We're gonna do a different front end. I'm gonna build a front end for it that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, we're gonna do a little motor work. We're gonna put a set of chrome sky nets on it. We should have those today or tomorrow actually. I'm putting Brembo's on it, um, chain drive. I don't know, more shit that I don't even remember. We're getting it ready. Sturgis is coming up real soon. We will be at Sturgis. We'll be at the Buffalo Chip doing a bunch of shows there. Probably gonna do some stuff with the brawl as well. Uh, we're going to be in Four Corners. Durango Four Corners is the Four Corners Rally. I don't remember the exact dates. It's in September. Look up Four Corners on Instagram. You can stay at the campgrounds. You can use code CRUZY on the website for the Four Corners Rally and get a big discount on camping. And you can stay in the CRUZY Originals designated campsite with us, which will probably be pretty dope. You'll probably go home with some memories or divorced who knows but stay in our spot use code cruzy for the four corners rally in durango colorado that is my favorite rally it is my hands down my favorite one it's beautiful it's the last of the real motorcycle rallies we'll also be in cottonwood for the thunder valley rally that is also in september i believe you can go on thundervalleyrally.com i believe you can find that we're going to be setting up there we're going to be putting on some shows there that is our arizona show it's in a super dope town there's just about 30 40 thousand people it's a big event. It's a really, really good time. There's a bunch of big bands playing. Come out, come party with us at the Cotton Valley, up in Cotton Valley for the Thunder Valley Rally. Cottonwood, that's what that shit's called. Uh, definitely come to that because we're going to turn that into our home base from here on out. We want to turn that into something big. Like we're going to blow bike week out of the water. So as it starts right now today, Matt's going to pull the fairing off. I can't really do any work because I'm still on the old, I had neck surgery four weeks ago and I can't use my limbs technically. But, uh, Matt's going to pull the fairing off. This guy's got to go to paint. The gas tank's going to paint. Rear fender's going to paint. I have the Cruzy Originals wing logo that's going on the side. It matches the Legends colors. So this thing's going to be super sick. Got to repaint this because I cut it for the subframe. The subframe's a chrome. I'm supposed to have that back today. I'm going to have a fucking chrome, chrome fucking subframe. You see that? Bam! That fucking big it is. Chrome sky nets on this thing too. Just, just dick swinging like it's brushing my shoes off when I walk around it's so fucking big when I'm riding this bike around I'm pretty pumped on it this was something completely different to have no dash just gas tank grab the gas sucker let's get this out of here we'll suck the gas out of it and then I want to put a see if I can put a soft tail tank on this do next I kind of want to get rid of all this somehow it's a shitload of work I don't want to take on that much work but it would look dope if I could hide all that inside the frame and maybe run a different gas tank mmm probably gonna make it happen probably gonna make Matt make it happen you know yerd yerd as if I come up with an idea and even if it sounds a little extreme like shit that's gonna be a whole lot of work I'm just gonna have to do it anyways. I think if I got something wild going on in my head, it should be turned into a motorcycle and I can't pick it off. See if my ideas can even become reality.
what we got here. I've got the, well, it's Geezer Engineering now. It was Geezer Glide. It might still be Geezer Glide on our website, but they had to change the name because Harley's cunts and they sued them. It's Geezer Engineering now. These are drop trees for late model baggers. These are about 1,200 bucks. They are on our website. I'll put a link down below. If I don't, there'll be a link to the website and you can find them. It comes with all the brake lines, the junctions. Real nice junction block that hides all that stuff. Your banjo fittings, all the lines that you need, which is dialed. Front axle. The tree comes with a greased bearing ready to go. All you gotta do is use the top stem on yours and you can replace that bearing or reuse it if it's in good shape. Top tree, it's all super nice stuff. The rake and the trail is a little <coughs> different on this as well. They've got that a little more mastered than stock Harley Davidson shit. It's got less trail. I think it has a degree more of rake and less trail. They explain that to me somehow about how that makes it better at high speed and makes it turn sharper at slow speed. So we're gonna do that. I've got legs there, 2000. 14, I think GSXR 1000 legs that were built by some company that I can't remember. Uh, these dudes hooked it up with the legs. I think it was Fast Track or Fast Life or Fast Lane. Some kind of race fucking sport bike shit out there that I don't know about. You can tell me about it down below. Uh, we're gonna run the Geezer Glide or Geezer Engineering Titanium Riser Bushings. These are the same ones I had them before. And this is really goddamn easy actually. All we had to do is slide the tubes out, break the pinch bolt loose, the top one came off, the stem comes out, bearings already on it, ready to go. Bearings on this, ready to go. It does come with a new race if you want to replace the race, but if your neck bearings have very low miles on them, it's unnecessary, it really, it really is unnecessary. Put some grease up in it, slap this bitch together, and then put your tubes in. I, I'm assuming the stock wheel spacing is the same. Although I don't have the stock wheel spacers because I built the front end that was on it and I made those wheel spacers so I really fucked myself there a little bit. God damn it. I would assume that the stock wheel spacers bolt right up. I think they made it to work that way. With this axle, I don't have stock wheel spacers so I'll probably be cutting spacers. For starters, let's, let's put this bitch on. Perfect. Done deal. It's centered. All I did was slide this guy in. I'm not running ABS, so this is gonna be different for you ABS guys. You're gonna have to go this way and then make a non-ABS version as well. So your ABS spacer still works back there. I just slid the axle in farther and I used it as the step as the spacer to push the bearing. So now my wheel is perfectly centered. This side, I'm gonna measure for the spacer on this side. Hopefully it's a stock size. We'll kind of find out. I need some snap gauges. Give me my this little blue thing down at the bottom of the toolbox. Snap gauges. I'll measure that thickness. Look at that spacer box we got and find me a spacer this thick. So this is all done, mocked up. That was fairly easy. I just used the axle as a spacer. Like I said, you can set this this part in and out anywhere you need to, as long as you have enough thread engagement on this side. So this would probably just bolt right up with stock shit. Put your ABS spacer in there, slide this into it until it meets, and then you run your stock spacer on this side and you dial. If not, cut spacers. This is temporary, don't judge me. I'm gonna recut the right shit and move that how I want to. But for right now, we're just getting this thing together so you can see it happen. All this has to come back apart and get repowder coated and all that jives. But we're putting this on. Oh, I'm sorry, I opened that box too soon. Didn't see it. Here we go. Brembos. Brembo. I got to space the brake rubbers. I'm gonna have to space them out quite a bit, like a quarter inch. So I can't do shit till I got some wheels. God, I guess we're just gonna get into some hardcore shit right now. I'm gonna probably tear this fairing apart completely. Here we 
ready to get serious now. Fucking A. Fucking A, Holmes. Clear path. I'm gonna tap in, I'm gonna drill into the frame back here and put myself a big ass hole. And I'm gonna run the wiring right out here and right out here out the front. Boom, hidden. All this will be nice and clean. <sighs> well, I gotta get all this through there. Hmm. It's, uh, it's one of those times to just throw caution to the wind and just go for it. I'm just gonna pop holes in this fucking thing and hope it works out. And if it don't work out, I'm gonna make it work out. And that's how you achieve new things that you've never done before. Time to get down to business. F off, you know I can. Hand them to me. Don't play the f***ing game with me. It says, don't f***ing touch. <laughs> So, uh, that's my entryway. Hopefully, it's big enough. Did a real nice job. Would you look at that? If only those saddlebags came out that nice. <laughs> ah, this was what I was expecting. Looks good. Everything fits through here so far. Um, as long as that thing comes through very, very first over everything else, it should fit. If there's any wiring in there, it definitely will not fit. But we got to get all this shit out this hole. A lot of shit out of a little hole. Good enough. Next we gotta cut these off, so why don't you drop this guy down on the ground and get rid of these towels. I'm gonna get covered in metal now. You're Matt and, that, Matt and they're hurting that seal right now. <laughs> Just hurting it. You okay in there, Matt? You gotta quit hurting that animal! I got all hot and sweaty and I went home and changed my shirt and then I slept for eight or nine hours and then went to the gym and came back. It's the next day, relatively. Uh, I'm gonna scuff this up and I'm gonna paint all this shit. I'm gonna tape it off. I'm gonna try and paint it as best I can. At least make it look as best as I can. You gotta give her just a little bit of scuffing at least before you paint something. 
I'm going to tape it along here and paint this whole front half so it's even. So I'm going to scuff up the whole thing. I'm going to get a nice even scuffing on it right here. This gives the paint something to bite to, you know. Yerd. Yo, so I am definitely not a painter. This is just your how to do it yourself in the garage and make some spray paint look pretty decent way to do it that I've done for a long time. I scuffed it all up. I blew the dust off of it. This is just glass cleaner. It's alcohol based. So it's going to evaporate and kind of kill everything. I got a clean microfiber. It's help get all any grease or any shittiness that's on there off. dusting way back here just dust it let it dry get a nice little unveiling here see if my colors match She's a little tacky still. Hell yeah. Yo, oh, I dig it. Yeah, this is it. Sorry, just staring at it. Turned out really nice. I'm pretty satisfied. I'm gonna let it set up for a few days before we pull any wire through it. I don't want to scratch it or beat it up or any of that shit. Uh, I think that's it. Probably gonna pause on this for just a little bit, maybe a week or two, so we can get caught up on the other ones. Uh, the giveaway bike, we're still doing that thing. We're working on that today as well, and this kind of jumping back and forth. There'll be two videos coming out. We just did a bunch of stuff for that guy. Uh, I gotta get back to work on the monkey and the twin cam. And I gotta finish my Dyna. I gotta finish this bike, my Dyna, and the race bike in the next four weeks for Sturgis. And I can't really work because of this shit. So it's just Matt and me right on Matt's ass. <laughs> if you haven't seen me in the videos, I've been right on Matt's ass. Poor guy. He's doing a really good job, though. Don't tell him I told you that, but he's doing a real good job. Frustrates the f out of me, but he's doing a real good job. He did all the cutting on this and stuff yesterday, too. Did a real nice job. Um, that's that. Cruise Originals. CruiseOriginals.com for all your needs, all your desires. All the things that make you awesome. Check us out on Instagram. We do dope shit on there too. Matt shit his pants. Peace.